Hello guys, Vortex here, and for today's video I thought I would dive into a franchise I haven't really talked much about on this channel. Everyone's favorite secret agent. Bond. James Bond. I am a huge fan of this franchise. I have watched all of the movies countless times. Even the Saturday morning cartoon for Christ's sake. Bond. James Bond Jr. I wanted to present my favorite top 10 most Bondy moments in the franchise. Moments that really stuck out to me as that right there. That is what James Bond is about. So without further ado, let's get into my top 10 best Bond moments. The Lotus Esprit car chase from The Spy Who Loved Me, 1977. I do believe that The Spy Who Loved Me was the very first Bond film I ever saw and I hold the Lotus close to my heart. The cool theme song together with the standard James Bond car chase left a cool impression as they always do, but this one took, a, took it a step further by having the car transform into a submarine which Bond uses to quickly dispatch both Stromberg's pilot, uh, Naomi, as well as several of his men, making a really cool underwater action sequence. The Skydive from Moonraker 1979 Ah, Moonraker. When you think Bond movies couldn't get any more ridiculous, they go into space. I love Moonraker for this very reason. They have lasers and they know it. Well, in the opening of Moonraker, Bond has just completed his previous mission and is on his way back to England when the flight attendant and the pilot betray him. He manages to push the pilot out of the plane, but is then himself pushed out by no other than Jaws, the infamous assassin from the previous movie. So, Bond is falling without a parachute and manages to intercept the pilot and fucking steals his chute, leaving him to fall to his death. Jaws then jumps after James... And to shake him off, James deploys his parachute and flies away while Jaws' chute fails to open and he falls into a circus tent. What's not to love here? Achieving 00 status from Casino Royale 2006 When the Bond reboot was coming up, I never expected it to succeed as well as it did. Sure, there have been some bumps in the road like Quantum and Spectre, but Casino was a big success according to me, and it led us to Skyfall, which is one of the best entries in the entire series to date. Anyway, the opening of Casino Royale depicts how James achieved his 00 status, in other words, his license to kill. And we get to see a very chilling Bond and a brutal fight scene, all leading up to the great intro song You Know My Name by Chris Cornell. The Parking Garage Chase from Tomorrow Never Dies from 1997. An interesting fact is that the title of this movie was originally intended to be Tomorrow Never Lies, but a mistake was made and it became Dies instead, which the studio liked so they went with it. But it makes a lot more sense with Lies since the main antagonist Elliot Carver runs a newspaper named Tomorrow. Well, in this scene, Carver's men are trying to get to a GPS encoder stored in Bond's car. Well, Bond's new BMW 750 is a tough little machine equipped with a remote control which Bond uses uh, to escape. He hops into the back seat and drives the car with his remote control, fending off the bad guys using all the gadgets and gizmos, doing uh, drifts and stunts and all, all of it from the back seat. Plane skiing from License to Kill 1989. License to Kill was a newer and darker take on Bond, making it a revenge story. James Bond goes rogue and sets off to unleash vengeance on the drug lord Franz Sanchez, who tortured his close friend Felix Leiter and murdered Leiter's bride. This movie is filled with dark themes and at times it didn't really feel like Bond, but then after Bond infiltrated Sanchez's organization, he must make a swift escape and water skis behind a plane about to take off. This scene really kicked 
the movie back into gear, so to say, and reminded us that this is still Bond. Tank Chase from Goldeneye, 1995. Goldeneye was Pierce Brosnan's first Bond movie, and definitely one of the best in the entire franchise. When he's about to pursue General Oromov, you expect him to hop into the nearest car and do the whole Bond thing all over again. He then proceeds to get into a tank, and chases Oromov all across the streets of St. Petersburg, causing destruction and mayhem wherever it goes, and it's a beautiful mess to behold. The London Boat Chase from The World Is Not Enough from 1999. This one always stood out to me since we always see Bond in foreign locations, and this time we get to see him do his job on the home front, so to say. And when he straightens out his tie, it always makes me laugh. The Duel with Scaramanga, the man with the golden gun from 1974. While not critically the best Bond flick, I kind of have a soft spot for this one. Roger Moore is a little bit stale here, but Christopher Lee as Francisco Scaramanga balances it out perfectly. And in their final showdown, Bond duels Scaramanga with pistols at dawn style, and it's... Very wacky, but at the same time very suspenseful and also cool. Backseat Driver, Tomorrow Never Dies from 1997. Probably my personal favorite on this list. However, I feel like the number one moment is slightly more bonded than this one, but it's very close. In this scene, Bond recons a terrorist meeting when the Admiral decides to launch a missile strike to take out all the terrorists, without realizing that there are high-yield nuclear bombs on the site, and if the missile were to hit them, it would make Chernobyl look like a picnic. To make Chernobyl look like a picnic. Bloody hell. Bond springs into action and knocks out the co-pilot of the plane carrying the missiles and flies out of there, but he's pursued by an enemy pilot. In the middle of the dogfight, the co-pilot wakes up and tries to strangle Bond. He must then fly the plane with his legs as he struggles in the cockpit. To get rid of the enemy pilot, Bond ejects the co-pilot into the enemy plane, causing it to explode, to which he wittingly says... Backseat driver. This is easily one of my favorites and is one of the reasons I always seem to come back to Tomorrow Never Dies. Before we get to the number one spot, let's cover a couple of honorable mentions as well as a couple of dishonorable mentions. The first dishonorable one is the Tsunami Surfing from Die Another Day from 2002. I want to like this moment, but I'm sorry, I simply can't. The special effects used here look so horrendous, and the score is trying so hard for this to be a cool moment, but it isn't, unfortunately. The second dishonorable mention is the corkscrew jump from The Man with the Golden Gun. This is one of the most incredible stunts ever performed in a movie, period. But the fucking whistle sound effect ruins the whole thing for me. Now, for the first honorable mention, the ejector seat flip from Die Another Day. It's a shame really, Die Another Day was a low point in the franchise, yet it contained really good and memorable moments, like the sword fight between Graves and Bond, or the car chase across Iceland. Anyway, it was such a creative and unexpected way to flip the car back up, and that is true Bond fashion. Then, the last honorable mention is the DB5 reveal in Skyfall. Every fan's dream come true in the Craig area. Everyone cheered in the theater when it happened, and it's a really, really good homage saying, like, this might not be the Bond you grew up with, but it's still Bond and it's still awesome. Little Nelly, You Only Live Twice from 1967. This is the definitive Bond moment. The original theme blasting while Bond fights off the Spectre helicopters in his small little auto gyro named Little Nelly. This shows off Bond's skill as well as the Q branch ingenuity in a spectacular dogfight that has gone down into history as just simply awesome. As I said, I much prefer Backseat Driver to this one, but there is just something about this one which just gets my blood pumping 
And that is why this is probably the most awesome Bond moment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you have any more Bond related topics you would like me to bring up, I'll be sure to do them at my earliest convenience. Good day.